Treatment drift, also referred to as parenting. <laughs> and when you understand treatment drift, you'll understand why that's largely true. Uh, no, it's an undesirable situation. No, that's not the parenting part. <laughs> um, in which the independent variable, right, um, the delivery of that independent variable changes over time is directly related to treatment integrity. Where with treatment integrity, we want to make sure that we're doing what we're supposed to be doing with treatment drift. You may start doing what you're supposed to be doing, but then over time that changes like parenting, um, you, you tend to work really hard at it, really hard at it, really hard at it, and you realize, okay, I'm kind of slacking off. I'm not doing my intervention the way I'm supposed to be, right? Um, I'm not maintaining as much attention to the kiddos. Uh, maybe I'm giving them a lot of negative feedback. I'm, in other words, punitive type feedback, not negative. That's a wrong term. Sorry, scratch that, delete. Um, um, so punitive type feedback, doing more punishment than I'm reinforcement. That's a really common thing. You start to catch it. Treatment drift. You realize that things are changing. You better be aware of it. You better be assessing it along with treatment integrity. That way you have some control control over your experimental setting, session, dependent variable, independent variables, all that stuff. It all comes together just <laughs> messing up in my head. All right. Anyway, treatment drift. See you. Watch out for it.